The Canadian Junior Boys Golf Championship takes place at Legends on the Niagara July 28th to August 1st. Three local golfers will be vying to take home the title. There'll be 160 competitors, so there'll be uh, the best 10, roughly the best 10 from each province will be represented. And uh, after two days, uh, the first two rounds, there'll be a cut till about the low 90 in ties. So we'll start at about 160 and get down to almost half of that afterwards. So the, the tournament's considered uh, one of Golf Canada's most prestigious tournaments. It's the Canadian, the Canadian Amateur Tournament. So, I mean, it's, it's a very, very high prestigious tournament. Having all the best golfers from around the provinces is going to be something really special to see. How much different will this course look for this tournament uh, compared to what it does usually? Well, uh, typically for, for public play, we wouldn't have the, the golf course stretched out as far as uh, some of the tee lengths that they're going to be having. And the greens are gonna actually going to be really, really fast in, in, uh, t in comparison to the standards we would have for public play. In addition, we've topped up all the sand and all the bunkers out there as well for the competition. So the sand is all new and it's very fluffy, so I wouldn't recommend getting in them. 17-year-old Aaron Black won his first Niagara Junior Tour event this summer. It was kind of a good event because that was my first ever Niagara Junior Tour um, event and it was the first time I broke 80 at that course, so it was good to get a win two years later. The Canadian Juniors are here at the Legends course. It seems to be a wide open course, a lot of space here. Yeah. Wind could be an issue. Yeah. How do you think your skills and uh, your strengths will work at this uh, Junior Championships? Well, uh, this course is playing longer. I'm, I'm not the longest player, but I've been striking my irons well uh, lately. So if I can hit good iron shots, it doesn't matter if I have a, a bit of a longer club in. Um, I think I can, I can put it close. It's about dodging the bunkers on this course, especially when you play the back tees. And I'm pretty good with uh, placing my ball in a good area off the tee, so hopefully I can get that down. Are you good out of the sand if it does uh, come to that? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say I'm good out of the sand. Um, I don't get much practice out of fairway bunkers, but I'm comfortable in them, so that's good. I first interviewed Hanish Nagrani long before he was a freshman at VCU on a golf scholarship. A lot's changed since then. Uh, the game's not easy. It gets a lot harder, a lot of mental changes. Um, it's been a long road, uh, but I'm c continuing to grind every day, try to get better every day. Just, uh, just focus on the process and just let the results speak for themselves. How familiar are you with this course? I played it a few times on a couple local tour events, about two or three times. Um, I know a little bit about it, not too much, but getting these extra practice rounds in will really benefit. But uh, I think it'll be a, a, a good, uh, good venue to, to host a championship here. Jarrett Chipman is heading into grade 12 at St. Michael Catholic High School and golfs at the St. Catharines Golf and Country Club. My 2012 year on the junior tour is my first year, and I finished right in the middle of the pack somewhere. So when I first, uh, my first event last year, kind of had a good event, lost in a playoff, and then uh, just kind of kick-started my year, and I ended up winning the tour. I mean, I only, uh, my only tour win was at this course, actually. Well, let's focus on the fact that that tour win last year was right here on this course. Yeah. You've played this course before, obviously, and are you feeling comfortable knowing that you've had that win behind you competitively on this course? It definitely helps. I mean, I shot two under here last year, but I mean, we were playing a shorter distance, and I mean, I picked up my uh, I picked up some yardage over the winter, and um, it's gonna be a, it's it's gonna be playing long and difficult this week. But I feel like now I knew that I sh can shoot two under here. So I mean, if I can uh, shoot some good rounds like that, I mean, I can put myself in some contention, hopefully make the cut. Spectators are certainly welcome and encouraged to come out all week. Uh, you know, tournament rounds start on Tuesday morning, starting at 7.30, and, and play will go until at least 5 o'clock each day. So they're encouraged. It's a unique opportunity to follow a player inside the gallery without any ropes, so they'll see some good golf, and it's free of charge. Reporting for The Source at Legends on the Niagara's Battlefield Course, I'm Mike Balsam.